Yeah, and that's a really rare thing, Heather. I've been covering this government since day one. I cannot remember an official trip that the prime minister took that we didn't know about or that journalists couldn't kind of, you know, travel alongside to cover. So we're getting these details as they are coming out to us. I think the top line information here is that the dinner started at Mar-a-Lago just before 7.30 Eastern time this evening. Uh, traveling alongside the prime minister is public safety minister Dominic LeBlanc. A lot of that must have to do with the border, which is, of course, what Donald Trump cited in that social media post earlier this week in which he threatened to levy these tariffs on Canadian imports. We've got the chief of staff for the prime minister and alongside incoming President Trump, uh, Governor Doug Bur Burgum, rather, who is his nomination for interior secretary, also looking to be the kind of energy czar for Donald Trump. Uh, Howard Lutnick, who is Donald Trump's nominee for commerce secretary, and Mike Walls, who is the uh, national security advisor nominee for Donald Trump, gives you an idea that borders security will be a focal point of the conversation, Heather. All right. And Vashi, Trudeau said earlier today he believes Trump's tariff threat should be taken seriously. So what's Ottawa's game plan here? I think exactly that, Heather. I think there was a, a very distinct message in what the prime minister conveyed today that even though the speculation is this is a negotiating tactic from the incoming president, that the government and other governments across the country are taking the threat of these tariffs very simply or very seriously, rather, because the simple reason is they would most certainly cause a recession in this country. He's there to convey that to the president, I am told. What comes of it? Well, that's another story, Heather. Vashi, thank you for this. Always appreciate the insight.